Wow, wow, wow. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Long Reachers. It's so great to have everybody in the house today. And of course, you know our guest today, fantastic woman, a fashionista, and our very own number one. We're so proud of her that a Nigerian is a global icon in this business, in this industry, and we are privileged to have her today. And hosting with me is the main host of this event himself, Simply Seton. Good morning, Seton. How are you today? Good morning, PY. Thank you so much for joining in with us. Wow, 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 wow. I'm super excited this evening. Don't be surprised you're hearing us saying good morning on this platform. Uh, we say good morning on Longridge platform at all times. Why? Because the mornings are full of new horizons. So we see yeah. ourselves in the goodies and the newness of every day. So whether it be morning, whether it be afternoon, whether it be evening or in the middle of the night, wherever your location may be, it is good morning. So we we are so proud, we are so amazed, so elated and uh, so loved to have the Africa's number one with us uh, this glorious evening. And um, you know, getting someone like her on the call is a huge, you know, that we've been on the rota or been on the diary for, for months. And uh, it's because of the hearts of gold she has, the very large heart she has. So she's willing to do. So many of us, the children, we disturb her. <laughs> so tonight uh, is going to be an exceptional night because she's not really a guest per se because she's the owner of the show. And um, we'll be talking to her as a mother. So yeah. the interactive session today will be different from others. So uh, and our topic tonight says resilience and uh, determination. How she's gone through the thick and thin. And uh, it's been a huge success stories over the years. But before she comes up, uh, we'd like to introduce her by playing a video, a profile. Dr. Mrs. Titilokbe Olubiseje Magua called the mother of network marketing in Africa for the fact that she is one of the most successful marketers to emerge from the continent. She is currently the first black five-star director and global icon with Long Reach Power Science International. Titilokbe has substantially invested in real estate for over a decade she has acquired properties in Dubai year on year. However, Titi Lopez's punction for local content made her decide to bring similar real estate projects to Africa. Partnering with the Middle East construction company in Esla, known as Eco Pearl in Nigeria, Titi Lopez is a chairman on the board to Nigerian companies in different phases of development of medium to high-rise real estate projects, notably among which is the proposed tallest residential building in West Africa called the Trillion Tower at a co-Atlantic city. On food security and agroeconomics, she has invested in food security for Africa's 1 billion people setting up a rice mill to produce and supply sparkle rice affordably. Following her childhood dreams of playing big in entertainment, Tito Lopez is the chairman at DTP, a talent detection company for creative arts, music, and acting. A talent show is the work. In community banking, Titi was the pioneer chairman and a majority shareholder of Richway Microfinance Bank, Lekki Lagos. Most importantly, Titi Lopez's love for replicating her success in other people, especially women, has meant investing hugely in people. Though much of her seed funding have not returned, Titi Lokbe persists in funding the incubation of entrepreneurial efforts of passionate people. Social work is also her calling. 
a graduate of physical and health education from Lagos State University. Titi has an executive MBA from Regis University, USA, honorary decorate degree from America, American Heritage University of Southern California, USA. Titi Lokbe is a Christian married to a loving husband who is an engineer. They are blessed with two wonderful children. Some of her favorite quotes are, the plan is to move, move out, move on, move up, move smarter, just move. I can is 100 times more important than IQ. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. Training is generic, leadership is a plan. Ladies and gentlemen, with a standing ovation, let's welcome a special icon, Africa's number one, Dr. Mrs. Titilogbe Olubisi Ejimagwa. Well, we had a physical cl uh, club is when we have uh, a physical meeting. So I'm going to unmute everybody. Just give your shout to Africa's number one. That is expected. That is expected. Mothers are the best. And there is no query. I told my late father before he died that moms are the best. So this one is not that we are not in any contention of anything. So we have the grandmother in the house. In fact, great grandmother indeed. You are welcome, ma. Thank you so much for honoring this invitation. In fact, you have made our year, not just the day. <laughs> you made our year. <laughs> you are welcome, ma. So well, our topic tonight says um, resilience and determination. So we just love you to just take us on that topic for a few minutes before we come into the interactive session. Okay, um, thanks. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for having me in this uh, platform today. It's an honor to be here. I won't take this for, 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 for granted. I mean, everybody stay. We have about 250 people or more. Yeah, on call right now, you know, and that means a lot, a lot to me. That is 240 hours right now. 240 hours is 10 good days, you know, <laughs> you know, of my life. 10 days of not sleeping, of not blinking, of not, you know, 10 days of being active. So I won't, I would never, ever take that for granted. And so I'm very uh, grateful and I appreciate you all for being on this call. It will be another buggy mentality. If after being called on this platform and, and, and nobody is there, imagine it's possible that you go out there and you see nobody just happened to me before. I remember it was 2005 or 2005. No, 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 no. 2003, I think, I was to have a, 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 an event in what I called we got the big all and everything. And we got there. No single person was in the hall, not a soul, you know, and the chairman of the company was around, so <laughs> it was so embarrassing for me, I was shaky, but you know what, never give up, back to our topic, wrestling, determination, what did we do, we didn't see one single hall, one single person in the hall, imagine, and the chairman of the company was in the country. He came with us to Puerto Court, no single person in the hall. What do we do? What will you have done? If you are in, if you are in my shoe at that point in time, what will you do? We went out there and started sharing flyers. 
<laughs> right there and there, we went out on the on Polakos Street. We started sharing flyers, and guess what? In an hour, the hall was filled to the brim. In an hour, the hall was filled to the brim. So when I say, never give up. Don't you ever, you are what you think you are. See, don't ever, ever think it can, or it will always be rosy. No, it can't. Guess what? Even Google, have, have you heard? Google is even uh, downsizing. Are you aware of that now? The whole world economy is nosediving. It is never, never going to get easier until God's kingdom come. So you've got to move. You've got to be determined. You've got to go beyond your limits. It is not time to stay in your fool's island if you your own limitation. It's not possible. You cannot. Hawaii. Is downsizing. Are you aware? Are you aware of that? All the big companies in the world are going down. They are going down. They are going down. Why? Global economy meltdown. It is real. Don't think it's just in Nigeria. Has them, we have people on call right here now in the UK. We have them in the US, we have in Europe, we have everywhere. It is not easy. Are you talking about, about the power bill, the food bill? It's going up every now and then everywhere. So no, nothing is going to be easy. You have to be determined to make it work for you. Nobody said that network marketing is an easy task. It's actually called network. It's not net play. It's not net joke. <laughs> it's not net sleep. It's not net investment. It's not net any other thing, but network. That means you've got to work. You've got to work to build a net, and the net will give you the income. Somebody tell me, eh, net is, is that not in that pyramid? So, okay, where are you working? So you are working the bank. So fantastic. You are actually the one working in a pyramid sector. And she's like, what do you, I say, okay, fine. Your chairman of the bank, when do you want to sack your chairman? Do you think your chairman, will be, or be, your, your MD will want his DMD to become MD tomorrow morning? So what is a pyramid? You have the one in pyramid. You work in high company, you have the one as actually doing pyramid, not you. Don't be deceived. Don't let them brainwash you that there's not that, that, that pyramid. Now then they do pyramid, not be you. Now then they do pyramid, not be me and you, they do pyramid. Because their boss is not going to design for them to get there. Every day they increase the age. Supposed to design at 55, say no, now at 60. Next year, 65. Next year, 70. Hello? So you call, you don't want to go. So when will you get there? Whereas in network marketing, I want you to come and meet me at this level. Because the more you grow, the more I have. Have you seen the difference? So who really is doing pyramid? Now me or, or all of them? Now them, them, not be us. So when they bring that story to you next time, tell them to go and eat the trash. <laughs> because that, that's not you. They use it to, to try to demean you, to try to bring you down. I see you don't know what you're doing. You sure do know what you are doing. They are the ones that do not know what they are doing. 
they are the fool. You are the wise one. You are the smart one. Because you are doing what God said we should do in the beginning. You are going, I mean, it's a thing of joy. I don't know how you feel. I feel so proud to tell the world that I am a networker. I've been here for 25 years full time and I'm not giving up. I'm moving on. I am not giving up. Rather, I am going to come my 50 years, God's willing. If I'm alive, I will come at 75 years. Oh, yes. God's willing. My children will start from where I stopped. If I have my PhD, good, well done to me with my PhD. Can I give my son my PhD? My son will become doctor tomorrow because I have it. No. But can my son become my son became one star director in language before he was five years old. The same applies to my daughter. She became one star director before she was five years old. How many people are director in the world that are less than five years old? In any company, which one do you know? Because they are all pyramid. <laughs> because they are all pyramid. It is here that you see it happening, or you see it working. And I keep on telling people they have not ashamed to solve sanitary part. You know why? Sanitary part is what made me to become a real mother, a real woman. Sanitary pad was what I was giving and the path liner. And within two months, my life course changed. After waiting for over 10 years, in two months of using liner and sanitary pad, I got pregnant. Hello? So, it will be weak. When I started long bridge business, I never saw the money. I did not see it as business. I saw it as an uh, NGO. I need to go and tell the whole world about the product. I need to go and rescue women, family. If not because of my wrestling, I wouldn't be in my husband's house today. I'm, I'm Yoruba. I don't, I don't know beer. I don't hear beer. Beer can go. I'll be bad. Are you on top? You understand? I don't even yeah. hear it. I don't even hear come and eat. Mm. You know, in the in, in Hebrew language, but my mother-in-law speaks in Yoruba, my father-in-law speaks Yoruba, my other speaks Yoruba. So why would I speak Igbo? So we can communicate easily. My other was born in Lagos, in Hobalinde. So why would I have to speak Igbo? So I don't need to speak Igbo. That's my language. So just about I'm speaking one language. So we all speak uh, Yoruba and we go away. And you know that kind of a thing. So when they want to gossip, they start speaking their language. <laughs> <laughs> Always the case. <laughs> when they want to gossip, they start speaking their language. I don't care. I don't really give a shit. But you know what? My determination made me to stay in my husband's house because they would have sent me away separately. Because I don't have I don't have a child. Who wants to keep a burning, a burning woman at home? Yes, Mama Timba. Sorry to yes. cut you in because uh, <laughs> that's actually a, a great point. We don't just have to take with levity. Now, some on this call, many have heard your story, but some are here that have not heard your story. I had this story first. That was where we were in Abuja in 2015. I think SD Azinge was there, so we organized that. And you came on the platform 
to narrate this story. You talked about how your brother was in China and all that, sent you some other thing, and the labor was sent to your husband. You took the mangen, and you were not even on the platform then. But because the sanitary part, all those things, can you just paint, uh, just try to narrate the story to us again better? This is okay. just to encourage some of us on this call. Okay, it's, it's actually my brother. Were, I've been in China before Long Beach, you know, but Long Beach came looking for me in Nigeria. You know, but I was number two in the world, another company entirely. So obviously, I do not have time. But since it's tomorrow morning, companies they come to me every day. They come and give me their products to use, to sample, you know, to help them to come. They tell me we are a consultant. I even write plan. I even write air companies to write their marketing plan, you know, that kind of thing. Then, so long which also came to me and they gave me something to put on liner you know, to use, and then they gave, that's, that's, that was all that they gave us, actually. They didn't give my husband labor, I mean, she was, they thought we started knowing about labor, I mean, you know, it was the liner and the part that was given to me. Then, you know, just was a gift. My <laughs> former MD of under company entirely, my former MD of under company entirely, he is my hotline in Long Beach. Hello, are you with me? the MD of a company that was paying me then 7.5 million naira uh, by month in every two weeks, every, every, every fortnight. He is now the one that recommend me, gave long with my name to come looking for me. So when they came in 2009, they gave me the part liner and the sanitary part. Just okay, a little bit. I used to my boy, I said, Yes, okay, you have a gift from you from Michael. I said, Oh, Michael, oh, thank you. And I use it. I did not listen to the business, I don't want to know it because I'm, I'm not, I don't like to be distracted, I'm too focused to be distracted. So they give it to me, and I use it since 2009, you know. And the next thing, I became pregnant, you know. But at that point in time, it didn't really occur to me there was Lina. That's the truth. But Lina also, I gave my father too, my fa because I saw the video that came with the Lina, he sent me a, a, a CD, you know, that's like a season CD. They sent me a CD, and the CD was a video of some men that use the Lina for their uh, bladder, bladder incontinence, and then, my father also had the same issue, actually, at that price that he uses. And so I gave my father too. My father is the type of person that does not like using supplements. He believes that supplements does not cure you tomorrow immediately. My father believes in fancy for headache. If you, do, if you take a fancy, the headache was good. If it does go, that fancy is fake. I my father for you. So that's it for my thousands for me. So for all supplements, my father would not just take it. He would not just you know, take his drugs instead of taking supplements. But this one, because it's not supplements, he's not going to use it, he contact products, he wore it. So come 2011, I've already had my child. My mother was to go to UK. I went to my father in Badon. And on the way, I, I told my, my, there was traffic that um, within area, you know, that time was, was thick. Four hours we are in one spot. And I'm like, Daddy, are you soaked? Are you wet? Do you want to change your diapers? That kind of so no, I'm okay. I said, Oh, Jimmy, you're not so. I'm not wearing diapers. I said, hey, you forgot what happened. I said, No, I don't need diaper again. I'm like, sorry, what? Why? And he wow. said, and he said, it's not you, you that gave me that thing that I always placed in my bladder. And that was I said, What do you mean? He said, now I know when I want to urinate. And I can even withhold my urine. I say, hello, you wow. now have sensitivity. You know when you want to urinate. And you can even withhold the urine. How? What? It's not you that gave me the liner. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? This is to work like that? Mm. That was it. Oh. And I wow. Said, I said, I, and I went back home again and rewatched the video. <laughs> you know, you know, I was like, ah. This also helps to open the uterus, it opens the womb, it goes to the fallop fallop fallopian tube, and I'm, I'm like, what? So this is like this? And that was wow. it for me. 
that was it for me. I have to call them again. Mm -hmm. Hello. Now, no, before then, they've been calling me. I don't think they're because I'm busy. I don't have time. They will come from Charles and they come and look for me and they answer them. I know the answer. Imagine somebody starting from China to Nigeria and they come and say, I don't have time. I'm not in the country. I'm not in for Nigeria. I'm not for Lagos. I'm not in the country. Because I do not have interest in doing the business. Mm. This is my life. I have to call. Hello, are you in town? Say, yes, I'm in town. Where are you? And they have, and they just say, really, I'm coming get my seat the next thing. And that was how I went there. I went there to go and collect the products. Not for me to do the business, but when I got there, it was telling me about the I did not even, even hear the business plan. No. But I just knew that, okay, you can register with the company. But me, I need the products. It's okay, wow. they have the products of grand, just pay. I pay them then, right there and there. I pay them 2.4 million naira to get, I do myself, I did my son, my, my son, my son, my husband, and I just do that, and that's a lot for my, you know, for just, I just have my four first left myself and that was it and i went with a friend the waiter i met another lady today i went with again you know awesome. that was how they also came in under me guess what awesome. they started running with the business me again i know they do business so me i was waiting up and down telling people you selling to this online i'm not doing the business i do not understand the next marketing language marketing plan so i did not want to tell myself but it's so complicated so different from what i'm used to i don't care i don't know what they're talking about for me, just use the wow. liner and use the pad. And that was it for me. I was knocking on people's door. I was shouting. I was doing demo. I was giving it out. I wasn't selling. Mm. I wasn't selling That's it. I was just giving it out, just giving it out to people to use because I know it to work for them. That was how I joined Longreach. Unwillingly. <laughs> but, Very unwillingly. Unwillingly for business, but willingly. For the benefit, additionally, for the health benefits, for the health benefits, additionally, for the benefit, health benefits, but never ever for the business. Thank you so much, Ma. I mean, such amazing yeah. having you here. You are always an inspiration. Listening to you just makes it work. Thank you so much. Every time we listen to you, we receive strength to continue on this journey. But you said something, and I want to pick it up from there. You said, don't think it will always be rosy, but never give up. So my thought immediately is, you, I mean, from your story, you are passion personified. But I said, don't think it will always be rosy. When those low moments come, how were you able to keep going? What pushed you on? What kept you motivated to keep going? Believe me, is the product. Always the product. In short, if you know what my plan is, then you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> if you know my plan, eh, you will not believe it. Too. Mm. It's the product of sweetheart. You won't believe it. The fact that I must, I you know, it's a challenge for me. People are dying. People are sick. People are hungry. They are looking for opportunities. This keep me going. Mm. I'm never okay with what I have. I'm always so They call it on your line. What is the English word? Is it greedy or is it I go back? To be covetous. We kind of covetous. Covetous. Thank you. That's the grammar. I don't go to school afternoon. That for night I go. In the base for night, I'm done. I don't hear grammar. You know, I'm covetous. I'm always hungry. I'm always seeking see opportunities outside there. You know, I always want to help you. It's just, my, it's just me. I just feel like coming to you. Hi, have you heard about this? Do you know about this? It, sweetheart, if we go do this long reach, nobody will go hungry. Mm. Nobody will go. If you sell product, you're not going to get hungry. Guess what? See my breast. <laughs> I don't know if if they can can I use on call today, you know. But so, so talking about I mean flat breasts. A lot of women are doing breasts uh, lifting, breast lifting, or she that they are doing. Look at my skin, you know. No black, no custom, nothing. We use no rich cream, rejuvenating cream, nothing, no chemical in my house, just non rejuvenating cream. 
all me, oh, my husband, though, my children, no, we use the same cream, we even fight over the cream. We don't know what we have. Hmm. Just use berry hall. Your breast will stand as if eh, you are 17 years old, babe. I mean, like 14 years old girl, right? You, be. you understand? All those falling, eh, London Beach falling down. All of them will rise up again. Then the bush are all rise <laughs> up, 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 up again. Mama, I say, don't all, kill them. <laughs> all, all dead bone will rise up again with berry oil. Mm. Yes, that's the truth. All dead bone will rise up again with berry oil. So, me, I'm on I'm in the campaign this, uh, this month of September to sell 1,000 berry oil bottles. Wow. Wow. I'm wow. selling 1,000 berry oil. Wow. I've sent my team already. Oh, yeah. We must yeah. rise up all, all the falling breasts. <laughs> all falling breasts start standing up. Cut see of long which berry oil. Long which berry oil. Mm. It's not, oh, no. It's not what it does. Oh. It raises up the falling breasts. Uh, when it's end of the falling breast, you can imagine what it also does to the man penis. Mm. Hey, man, we are, we are adults here. We're talking health here, so I won't miss yes. words. Yeah. You understand? I won't, I, I won't miss words here. You understand? So instead of men going to do penis enlargement too, you want to, eh? You smell it well. You go, eh? 18 inches. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'm still on this and I'm taking you on right away. <laughs> I hear you, Ma. I hear you. I hear you say three things. I hear you talk about the efficacy of the products. I hear you about being hungry. I hear passion to help. And all of these things are your driving force. The fact that you know the value of what you have. But Ma, you will agree with me that sometimes as a leader, even though you know, some people are they're just still like that, looking and wondering, maybe it is because it's Mama T. Maybe she has something special. Maybe she's just specially anointed. The things you have done, can every other person replicate? Or is it because it is you? Me, I'm even worse. I'm a stutterer. I stammers. Eh? I'm older. Eh, I have no, I don't go out. Um, I'm, I'm in Puda. My mom and put with my high. I tell the this is Sunday over for out. You know that you are out there on the road, baby. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I don't send a long way to. That's not my life view. Even in those days, I will park my car and I am go nowhere and start selling food and tea. <laughs> I sell big tea. Tea and she. I will pack my car, I will enter Mongoe and be selling at the pepper 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 tea. I will be at the filling station to buy fuel. And I see you, as my last two is coming back at me, you are finished. I'm selling my, my product to you immediately. <laughs> <laughs> if I smile at you, you smile back at me, you are in business with me. Is that how you buy? And that's what I do till tomorrow morning. Mm. I go to salon to do my hair. And you know me, I will always create, I will always make you smile. I will always smile. And you know, smile is contagious. It is free of charge. Why am I frying? Why am I frowning? Why am I not a smile? Smile is cheap now. Happiness is free, yo. it's from the inside. You don't need, the whole world is a problem. You will me, I get my own wahala. You feel my body in the for house. You understand? But I try to make my life easier by laughing over the challenges. Mm. The challenges are, are everywhere, you know? But you know, you cannot come and kill myself. I cannot come and kill myself before death comes. You know that when you're afraid of, of death, you die early. But when you know they fear the death, go they fear you. Mm. <laughs> if you don't fear death, death go fear you. So if you're afraid of being poor, poverty will they follow you. But if you don't fear poverty, poverty will they run from you. Say, this one they fear me, make I live out. Let me go and meet the world that I'm afraid of you. Fear is the common enemy of mankind. Hmm. So don't be afraid. I am not in that chain. I'm not enslaved to my mindset. I'm not enslaved to fear of unknown. Hmm. I refuse to allow negativity to strive around me. Even with my husband, I tell him, get that, get the behind me, Satan. 
<laughs> Even if my son got me behind me, man, I'm moving on. I keep moving. When I, anything I say, that's what I do. Mm. Believe, believe me, I do not understand negativity. I know it's not going to be easy. So I've got to jam myself. I've got to bottle up. I've got to wake up. You understand? For, 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 for me to booga, I need to wake up now. I don't know why I'm not waking up. Eh? <laughs> Very true. So, my, you are saying, <laughs> I, I, you know, my, every time I listen to you, honestly, your smile is contagious. So, everybody on, on this call, learn to smile. And she has said to you, when somebody smiles yeah. back at you, let, let everybody smile, smile as we are talking. As we are if talking, let everybody yeah. smile. It's just, it's, that's just it. Smile if you're on camera, smile. If you're not on camera, smile. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, in team building, which is what has helped, which is what you are a global icon. You are a fashionista, I must say. I admire your dressing. Every time I see you, I'm like, what's she wearing now? What's the latest in Vogue? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Aha. So you know those of us that are watching and watching closely. But in all of this, you said something, but even me, I'm a stammerer. Has there been a time when you felt, I can't go on. It's too hard. Um, maybe this is not for me. Because these are the things I hear people say. Or maybe people come to you and tell you, but I'm a, I'm a banker, I'm a worker. This network marketing is not for me. How do you handle such things? See, um, we are all human. There's always low time in our life. Even with some money, you wake up and you feel very low. I can't say no to that. You know, We have this, um, this uh, period of our life that we feel very low. So what do I do when I'm low? I excite myself. Mm. I take one step coffee. <laughs> That's the <their> coffee. <laughs> you are low, take coffee. You don't have coffee, take bitter cola. Hey, hey, mm. babe. <laughs> you see, there's some people that are not, are not in that level. We are, you are going to, we are, I will allow even me, myself or myself, I myself or myself to, you know, to reduce my own potential. I know they allow myself to, <laughs> I know they allow myself, you understand, to keep my own spirit. I know they allow key joy around me. Mm, the people around you. I know they allow key joy around me. I know they allow, I know, even, my, even the, all my SDs know. There are times in the SD group we are fighting ourselves. Everybody is complaining. We have it left. Don't think that all the issues that we are all going through from pre diamond to diamond seven, from SD one to SD five are not going through it. We are all in the same boat. There are times that we feel like kilting, that we feel like giving up, but we feel like it is over. It's not going to work again. They're just putting in all this effort. The, the, the management is not there to support you. The team is not there to support you. Oh, your team have left you. You feel alone. You feel empty. You feel out of this world. We are not the only one. Mm. We are all wearing we the same shoe. All of us, they feel loud. Mm. But the difference is that I don't allow that feeling more than three minutes in my life. Mm. When that feelings come, in three minutes, I look for a solution. I can spend 10 hours in looking for a solution. First and foremost, I play music. I love dancing, I love rocking. So I just dance it with myself. Sometimes, four, sometimes 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm rocking. You know, and when I'm rocking, I'm playing music. This brings out, you know, better. But you know, makes you alive, makes you refresh. You understand? Then afterward, I take my tea. I take my brown tea, my green tea, my pink tea, my coffee. You know, all these teas excites you. You know, makes you feel good. You understand? After that, you know, I start reading positive books. Mm -hmm. I read books. I listen to audios. You know, I love reading. I love, you know, because I'm a stutterer, so I can't talk so much. So what I do is I, I read. You understand? <laughs> because I'm literally talking, I put all my energy in reading. 
So I love reading. I keep on reading about all people's life, the life story. Nobody, nobody that caused the typical, the, the, the typical of poverty to wealth that does not have terrible stories behind them. Mm. Nobody. There's no single person on earth. Even this guy, Rockefeller, that had everything, as he was born with golden spoon and everything, had everything. When they started dying, and he was given how many how many days more to live, you know we know what did. He started doing what you are doing, what I'm doing. He started giving back to society. He said all oh, that he had a man started giving it back to society. Guess what? The middle started giving back to society. He started getting well there. Hmm. Get, it's like getting, they don't understand what we need to be held there. This is a guy that I've been giving timeline, just timeline, you're dying in the next 21 days. And in no time, he, could, he did not die again until he was in the, night, in, the night, in the 90s. He was dying in his 40s. He lived 50 years more. Why? Helping others, giving back to society, giving back knowledge, giving back opportunity. You say, giving back their health back to them. Bringing hope to people. Hope is the most important thing in life. When you know that there is future, there is hope, you understand, it will elucidate you, it will excite you. You will, you will, you will be okay, you will have temporary relief at that point in time. So when you are feeling so bad, Look out there and see people that are worse than you. If you are crying that you have no leg, no shoe, people are crying that they have no leg. If you're crying that, that you have no leg, the people that have all the legs and they're about to die, their legs is wasted. You understand? So there's, at, at every point in time, you have cause to say, Father, thank you. So at that point, saying, Father, thank you, look at those who can render help to. Mm. That brings all the joy. To, that brings all the men to trust me. I'm a fulfilled person. The fact that I'm talking to you today now, you don't know what it's doing to me. You, it's giving me more life. Awesome. So the more you go out there and help others, the more you your life gets better and brighter every now and then. Mm. It's not only about making money. Okay. It's about giving people freedom. And when you go out there to free others, trust me, you'll be free indeed. And when you are free, you are good to go. Thank you so much, Mama T. Thank you so much. We can't have enough of you. I can see the chat popping up. People are asking for second season. And we're <laughs> going to have up to five seasons. We know that. Now, my, my, this puzzles me. Uh, someone of your caliber, well, for those who don't know, she's a billionaire, but she's so humble to allow us into our space. Yeah. Now, how do you combine being a mother, being a wife, being a businesswoman? How do you combine it and to have maintained your home for this long? Hmm. Leveraging. I leverage. It's not, I like everything from this business. Leveraging. It's as simple as, I went home inside this call, I said, we have two and four people in, on, on, on this call. Yeah, that is that's... 10 days of, of my life. Hmm. That is leverage. Now we are 300. Do you understand? That is more, almost 14 days of my life. That is the power of leveraging. I leverage everything. In my home, in my, in my, in, in, in my Business. I'm not a special woman, and you cannot be a special woman. Don't be the big, don't be the the, the, the goto in everything. Don't be the chairman of all knowledge. You cannot be. <laughs> Leverage. True. You understand? Give out people, responsibilities to people to do it, and your life will be easier. So keep on leveraging. It brings money, it brings time. It means opportunity. It gives you everything. Just leverage. That's it. My answer to you. One word: leverage. This word came out again tonight. 
So <laughs> let it be part of, well, maybe everybody should pick, make it the middle name now. <laughs> it's just, that is what uh, actually helps. Thank you so much, Ma. Now, uh, we read in your profile that you are trying to groom women and to bring them into business and all that. In what ways are you doing this? And that this business as natural marketing and uh, is being populated with like over 70% that are women. Now, what are the chances for men? Then in what ways are you grooming? <laughs> are you grooming women? Are you asking that question? You should be, you should be telling me that the answer is eh? <laughs> When you look at the left right center, where are you see? No, we're full here. Even if we get this one, this is the people that are here today now. I'm sure men will more women be here than men. You know? Definitely. Go be, go be woman, go meet Jesus first. When men get there, <laughs> they, 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 they left. Go be woman, say, no, let me go and see. Who they there? <laughs> Who they there? You see? Women, we are endowed with opportunity to to gossip. <laughs> we talk a lot. Men talk a lot. So I just turn... <laughs> I just I just turn them around. Just tell you, gossip about opportunities. Gossip about things that will help you. Talk about things that make sense. Talk about what puts mm. money in your pockets. Which day, yeah, man, you was playing. Man, you with one club, they are playing. So they they don't want to go and sleep. Nine o'clock in my house, nine o'clock, you have to be on bed. You don't want to go for And I'll call them, say, come, nine o'clock, you are still watching, you want to be funny in the ball. Say, hey, if I've been an Asda, I've been an Asda, I've been an Asda, I've been an Asda, I've been If you're not a past year now, you go, he ain't going to greet you. He know you. He don't know you. He ain't not sent you. Do you understand? If Asda past year now, he know you. He not see you, he do know you. So why are you not denying yourself? Your own precious sleep because of you are watching somebody that's making his own money. Oh my god, make your own sleep. Oh yeah, let's go to bed and sleep. <laughs> and that was how we went to bed and sleep. So also in this business, women are all, all you know, women are a bit disadvantaged. Not to me, a bit a lot of advantage actually in the world. A lot of you men we tell them before you get them a job, you want to sleep with them. Before the, the, the finish in school, you want to sleep with them. Before they get promoted, you want to keep you want to sleep with them. You know, you just turn their body that is meant to be a vessel. You use it and abuse them. Mm. You know, I don't want that to happen to women around me. I want women to be able to lift their shoulders high. You understand? So when you empower women, you empower family. And when you empower family, you empower community. When you empower community, you empower a whole generation. Mm. So that's why I say women are very important to me. Right? My husband, my daughter, I, 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 I took a nap. My wife sn 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 sneak away. <laughs> Men will always run away, but women will always be home builders. And when they are empowered, they will be able to train their children properly. They'll be able to give, mm -hmm. they'll, be able to, they'll, be, they'll be able to imbibe culture, you know, tradition, our normal culture and tradition and uh, you know, virtues in their children as well. So for me, women need to be empowered. Men are not being left out, right? So when I tell people that women discuss and men gossip, I mean it. Mama T, don't terrorize us too much now. <laughs> Mama, I feel you, ma. Thank you. Thank you. What, what, will, you, what will you say, P.Y.? What will you say? Women discuss <laughs> and men gossip. So men, you are gossiping. Turn your gossip to talk something that makes sense. Gossip is about Very true. The kind of money we make in language, eh? It's reward for good gossip. Gossip properly. Mm. You understand? So men that are gossiping, come on, gossip, proper gossiping. No, there is proper gossiping. Gossiping and improper gossiping. 
People are gossiping and gossip that will help others. Everyone one is one that, that will destroy others. So go out there and do proper, proper gossiping. Gossip to empower yourself. Gossip to empower your family. Gossip to empower the whole nation. Yeah, thank you, Mama T. I, I, let me say second to my last question, or let me say my last question because anything could come up. Now, usually some of us thank God for those that said yes to this platform. Because like what you talked about the leveraging, it has actually helped some of us that don't even know how to speak before, now learn how to speak. Now, I remember you talked about how Longreach came to be because these are premium products and they, they appear expensive for those that couldn't afford it. But your resilience and determination to bring down particularly the energy products when you had the meeting. Now, we want to say a big thank you to you for doing that. But for those who don't know, can you just relate to us, relate to us a bit of that story for them to cut down on the energy pots, the energy shoes, because they were too high and you wanted them to be affordable to people. And that was what made Longreach to stay in Nigeria. <laughs> you, eh? Don't be giving the old story back again. <laughs> you actually a dinner with the then president of Longreach, Charles. He came around and then he was trying to tell us about why we should do Longreach. And maybe it took us to this hotel, the rooftop, to have dinner. Is it dinner or lunch? And then he was telling us that the port will cost this. I know about port, long, but I know about the benefits of this uh, stadium port long time ago because when they came, to, when Salah Masa came to Nigeria in 2005, they came to me for, I always tell that they always come to me. They came to me for us, you know, and everything that thing, but so they were starting to work with all the price. So when I saw Long Beach Port, I was excited about it, you know. It excited me a lot. And I'm like, wow, wow, this is what I've been looking for. But when I saw the price, I was like, what? What? No way. How do you think we've done this? It's not going to work, you know, in marketing. Pricing matters a lot in marketing, you know. So it will already disfranchise, disfranchise a lot of people from being doing business because of the price. And it was like try, trying to say it's not going to work and everything. And I'm like, it's not going to work, then this is the end of this meeting. Hey, what's your name? What's the bring the bill? And you couldn't believe it. Right there and then I paid cash. You paid. Yeah, it's all of us that are there that give about 20 or something. Just pay the cash. Let's go. He was like, no, don't press it. What do you think? Because we treat it worse than us get and eat dinner. I've been at lunch, Chinese food. We cannot afford that. Then there. Who be that guy here? Oh, man. You know, sweet sugar for us. Hey, we be Niger. But I'm blowing the heart. Let me hear. I just pay the cash, man, and tell them, give me the bill and let's walk away. We all stood up. And I love my team, mm. man. You know, some of my team leaders, man. You guys walk. <laughs> hey, hey. Before I said that, everybody just stand up. And I said, I said, we didn't plan anything, no. I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a rebel leader. We did, we did. You know, you know. I just said, okay, let's go. Just stood up. Just. I said, please come back, come back, come back. We're going to work. We're going to work on what? We are going to bring it down or not? Let us know now. <laughs> it's how the first goes down or no deal. And that was how the price mm. of port was slashed to one talk. Hey, wow. <laughs> yeah, really, you, know, you are a mother. People you are a mother indeed. Understand it until when they got to China and they saw the price of the port in China. They couldn't buy the plus in China. <laughs> no, but just every country start buying from Nigeria because the Nigeria will want it. Even to today, mm. our products are still the cheapest. Mm. Nigeria own, mm. even twice more than Putonu here. Wow. Mm. Than Ghana. Mm. Than Cote d'Ivoire. 
our own, Nigeria own. Sorry to Ghana that on, 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 on call. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the Nigeria, Nigeria price is the cheapest day to day because of revolution. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> the hard way, the only way. Almost, we don't pay a mouth. We just say, and then it's like, I don't be talking. <laughs> oh my God. Nobody hear what I say. <laughs> wow. Thank wow. you. Over to you, people. Nobody hear what I say. I lost my own worker. Now, so we do our moon. Now, so this thing work out. That was how we probably have the price. You understand? So, it's just that we, we know what we're doing. We are positive thinkers. We believe in the products. We believe in the platform. Despite all the challenges we're having today, I always tell people that the challenges we're having today is not a new one. It's everywhere. The management will always come and go. Well, it is your own business. It is mm. my own. It is my own business. In the beginning, there was no management. It was me and you. Don't, if you look at them, you will never be able to grow. They, 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 they are killed joy. Ignore them. When the one person comes for a gallery, you go back now. You tell your gallery, move on. So, my people, leave them alone. Work at your home. Their own time go expire, they go drop at their bus stop. Now, you know, say this one, you go give them to your children to to, to, to learn it from you. But if I can make mm. it, you can and you will. If you are determined, wow. you will make it. If, if you are resilient, if you, if you, are resilient. If you, are resilient, yeah. you will make it. There will be mm. a, a lot of pitfalls a lot of stumbling blocks, a lot of challenges. It seems it's not possible. It seems you cannot surmount this. Somebody is selling put toothpaste next door to your house for 100 naira. I mean, you bought your own for 2,400. What will you do? It's just, it's almost impossible. <laughs> well, you know, what, you know what I see? If it is possible, there is no opportunity. Impossibilities mm. eh, yes, brings yes. about success. Wow, wow! Difficulties mm. brings about opportunities. Challenges. In short, now when you get broke, now you will go down your friend. You understand? True. Now these people, now this period, now we go no do day longer, and who 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 no come no who who no can't do language. Cause not be able to when they do language, they they really love language. You understand? So it is when yes, these man. challenges are there, that's when you know exactly who is it really that is in, that is doing this business, not for selfish reason, but selfless reason. Because you can only prosper when you're selfless. If you're selfish, mm. you can never ever grow. Mm. So Thank if you, you expect Thank that you your so being much. selfless will make you, you know, what you it will be a smooth journey for you when you're selfless, you are joking. Because the world is ruled by the wicked one, it's full of selfish mm. people. Your left, your your upline, your downline, your sideline, they all want to choke you. They are out there to talk you, you know, but you know me, eh? <coughs> you can't talk me because you say I'll be talking. Me go talk you first. <laughs> you can't talk me because you say I'll be the first talk you first. You know, so I don't give so don't give chance to enemies of progress. They are everywhere. Mm. Trust me. They are even in the management. They are in that office. Plenty of them are there. When they come to tell them, get them behind me, Satan. I know you're tired. I know what you came for. <laughs> but you know what? You can't kill my job. <laughs> you can't stop me from su su succeeding. My journey is still far away. And wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Honestly, if we have five sessions, we will still run out of questions. While you were talking earlier, maybe in your profile, I heard about seed funding. So there are some people that you had started off in the business to say, let's go this way. How do you, how have you been able to handle it when those people that you have done seed funding for, then 
fall asleep on the way and they cannot see what you're mm -hmm. saying. How are you able to cope with that? You see, you don't get disappointed when you don't appoint anybody in the beginning. When I mm. sit front, <laughs> when I sit front to you, and you know, Sabi, you are cut now. You know, if I'm a problem, I'm a shift. You see, you can never ever satisfy humans. You know, even when I give you today SD5, today, to open and take SD5, take my take my phone, you still have cause to complain. Such ones are plenty everywhere. Whereas there are few ones that are genuine. There are few ones that are genuine and they will go all out, succeed. You understand? So look for that very one. When, when Christ was telling us about the, the story about sowing seed, a lot of them fall on sandy ground and tiny floor on a rocky sand, but few fall on the fertile land and they germinate. So not all the seed that you form will germinate, but when one germinate, now money for it. See, man, and another germinate, and now they have money. At the end, now. <laughs> But before you, Emmanuel, there are more than 1,000. Where are they today? They've fallen down. They fell on top of Tony Sound. They grow small, choke them, tongues choke them down. Many of them fall on rocky side. They grow small, eat, kill them. You understand? Some fall on sandy sand. The bed come and chop them away. You understand? Well, can but Emmanuel fall on the for that ground. Today we have CIG. You understand? That's all life be. So not all you see that are your plants. Wow. I ain't gonna germinate. Wow. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank, Thank you, you so, so, much. so much. You have actually fed us as a good mother tonight. Uh, I'm going to do something. It may not, I don't know, maybe we're going to have that in recorded session. After the three years it finishes and um, you try to finish. Since you said you love to dance, you try to play happiness. We'll play Sweet Mother song for you. Just dance for like two minutes so Whoa. that Sorry for the embarrassment. That is how I am at times. At times, some of these things are spontaneous. <laughs> it's okay. I can see a guy in my bow, he's bowing down. He says, hey, This guy don't it's come again. I don't to see that, but <laughs> that is not very that's good. Okay, I'll call on the three SD, um, the chief servants of CIG, Imai Eduro, the author of the book, Made in Worry, and the founder, Emmanuel Eduro Foundation. Thank God this man used his house strength to sign up on Long Beach because somebody of Somebody like me, <laughs> I may not, I may not know about long reach, but this is these are the thank you, thank you, thank you. We say all the time. You are welcome, boss. Yeah. Wow. Before I say anything, if you are on this call, I want everybody to type one 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 in three triple one to appreciate our number one in the world, not Africa again. She's number one in the world. Wow. We are lucky, we are privileged, and it's like the time ran too fast. I'm just thinking if we can all appeal. Let her take part two next Sunday. Please, if you are with me, <laughs> say I support. No, no, next <laughs> so Sunday, I'll have a program next Sunday. We upper Sunday. Upper Sunday. Next Sunday, it's we're okay. just flowing. We're just flowing and we are just flowing and uh, we never wanted this to stop. One hour became too short for this. Uh, Mama, we are very grateful for this wonderful opportunity, for this privilege of hearing from you again. It's been a long time. We have not heard you really speak out this way, you know, thoroughly digging it deep and touching the hearts of the lazy ones and those that are thinking maybe they are doing the right thing by staying away or sitting in the fence. But you've made it clear that the road is narrower than what people even think, but the, the inside is a buffet. You've made it very clear. We are so grateful. We appreciate you. The entire Long Ridge family in the world is right here represented. And uh, it's not only CIG that is here, it's everybody in it because I'm a popular person and for everybody. So that is why we are gathered here. We are even marked out already. Most people on uh, Facebook refuse to show up. So there's nothing we could do. Best we will then send the recordings accordingly to everybody. 
Mama, we are grateful. I want you to do us a favor now, since we will not see you next week. We are planning 29th October. That is going to be a very heavy one. 10 years. I wanted to just say something about our October anniversary so that everybody that is in this call will take something home. After this, they are planning for something so they can prepare. Say something about that. Thank you, ma. Just five minutes is not too much. Okay. Um, why am I, why are we all so um, particular and so excited about 10, year, 10 years of language? We're not talking about the 10th year of language in Nigeria. Don't get it twisted. We're talking about 10 years of impacting life, 10 years of touching lives, 10 years of transformation, 10 years of, you know, we have over 2 million Nigerians in language today. 2 million families have been touched, either you like it or not. Two language opportunity, this, do, do, do this platform, you understand? People, I don't even, in fact, no, no, no government have been able to do that. And our own is, nobody is collecting anybody's money. Everybody is saying it is obvious. It's not that we have fed the whole world and they were not, nobody is, being, nobody is going hungry. This one is real. So the point here is that it is time for you now ask yourself, how many people have you been able to touch their lives? You still have six weeks to go out there and touch people's lives. You still have six weeks to go out there and impact in people's lives. It is time to celebrate you. It is time to rejoice with you. It is time to rejoice with me. It is time to say well done to you. What you're doing this, this anniversary is not for any particular person. It's for all of us. They have come together to make the world a better place. It's for all of us that have been able to touch one person's life positively. That is what this celebration is all about. You know, so I do not think that you should, uh, sure, the problem we are having is the space to even put you. If you can use stadium, but because stadium is not that safe, you know, we will have used the stadium for all of us. Why we are restricting, you know, why we're not going to do a lot of tickets, we're not going to, lot, uh, 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 all the people that are here now, now only 50 of you can enter. Only the first 50 that pay for enter the hall. Because the man I know will get more than 50, 50, 50 tickets. Whether he likes it or not, that 50 tickets he will get. So it's only the first 50 that pays that can enter the hall. And I put that the Facebook that day will not show a, a, a error that day. So that Facebook can also show it live. You understand? So if I'm not able to enter the hall, you will be able to watch it for live. So if you're not pay your own, don't go around, go pay. You understand? If you're not going to have today, pay 500 today. You understand? Start paying small, small because only 50 people can get, only 50 people can, even me, now only 50 tickets I get. And my own said, don't finish. I was, I was going to ask for 10 out of the 50 that you, you just say, you 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 now it has finished. It's finished. <laughs> I don't have one again, sir. It's finished. It's finished. My dream brother wants to come. I thought he's going to be in a job 24 and he wants to come. So sorry, I don't know. I have no, 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 no tickets for you. I cannot enter. My own dream brother, I'm not going to enter. Because no tickets. He was telling me this month that ah, I'll, call, I'll be in Nigeria on the 24th, so I would like to say, yeah, sorry, you're doing that, sorry, it's not finished. Who be that one? Put some of words, just get in my hand, you're on your own, no? <laughs> now, Bishop, now, Bishop, uh, Bishop, where they give trouble, Allah. Uh, you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. I don't get to get that. They're going to help me make a big intercept. <laughs> so it's cannot finish you. Man will not finish. So man, you always still still remain. All my tickets are already paid for already. Ah. I am looking for staff director that does not want to attend or is not interested so that I can get <laughs> <this. laughs> <laughs> 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 
Let's let's use two fists to unwind. <laughs> and it's going to be, it's going to, going to be a wow period. Trust me, you're going to enjoy every second you spend there. It's going to be it's just going to be enjoy, fun, fun, and fun all through. It's to be a fun gallery. Gale, I mean, fun a fun gallery, not an art gallery. Now it's even a fun gallery on that day. So looking forward to seeing you and giving you a big hug on that day. I can't wait to take a picture with you and you know show my teeth again. Wow. <laughs> Thank, you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think my teeth white. If not, so I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry my teeth. They they laugh. Thank you so much. It's been so exciting, so humorous night, so revealing, and so educative. Thank you so much, Mati, for your large heart. Thank you for giving us space. Thank you so much. We really, really, really appreciate you. Uh, so before I play the song for you to dance, let me unmute everybody because they are eager, you know, people, hold, you know, when, when we're in a physical hold meeting. On, hold on. All right, boss. Let's give her opportunity to pick. Everybody wants to ask questions, but only one person will have that opportunity to ask one body question. of her choice randomly to ask that question. All of them want to, but only one person. Only one. Okay. She select the person herself. Uh, let us let, 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 let see for, for the raise of hands, if you want to ask Mama T question, but be ready to come on camera. And Only um, one person she will pick. Only one person she will pick herself. And I'll ask the person to unmute, but be ready to come on camera. So Mama T, if you are picking anybody, the person should be on camera. Okay, the only person I'm seeing on camera now is Aderun K, I guess. Yeah, women, women two, two K, two. We have two men, two men on. Okay, <laughs> Chukwu Ajayi is not on. Okay, because you don't come up now. I must see don't come up. Okay, but I'm already. Okay, let's do this. Right. I know what you mean. Women, 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 women. Eh? We have, let, me take, let me take um Aderun K and. Uh, uh, okay, who's on? Okay, who should I take now? Among these two now, Moses Selu from USA, uh, and uh, Moses Selu, I they strong, but uh, you can check with the smile. Moses, the smile, so I can take Moses before he high strong, go to the fear me. But Moses, they don't smile. Eh? Okay, I don't see your teeth. Let's take Moses. You can check with now. You did between me, Nigeria. Let's take most from USA. Hmm? All right. Okay, I'll give it to Adoronke first. You can meet yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, our um, Mama Longridge, but in world when just not in Nigeria in the world. So we really appreciate you, Ma. I appreciate you for this beautiful section. I'm currently a Diamond Three in Longridge, but. Um, Mary, the story of your stories and you know every other um, thing that you share tonight excite me for the future. And really, what I want to say is that we have, um, and I'm sure your story has touched those who are also just considering you know, our prospects on this platform, because we have people who are here who are still unsure as to how far to go in, in this business. So just wondering uh, whether you can just give them just um, a small advice on top of everything you've said as to how they need to continue to persevere or to come on board actually first and then to persevere. And, and then in another thing is um, for your position, whether there is something also that you can help us with, uh, because we are being, we are facing all sorts of challenge, and one of them is people trying to push people from, you know, their um, upline to say, oh, come to my team. We give you better support and better this. If there any way you can support your us to minimize that or to guide against such, thank you so much. Even in Zani Bank is going about coaching people for that. I already have a account with uh, Echo Bank. Even the MD of uh, Assets Bank, Hubert Wigwe, was poaching me, telling me that what, what, what am I doing? So they come to me. You understand? So, poaching is I've been there, will always be there. They will always come to you. And now, depends on you, your determination to stay back where you are. Really, nothing is new anywhere. It's pure marketing. 
if you put me now, come and join your team. Say you go work for me. You go be my leg for me. You go do everything for you. Go buy my product for me. You go be my. You go give my my three leg. I will be the, the train there. I'll be just sit down the top right there. Don't let them deceive you. You go still do the work where where you did go. And just to you know, they're just giving you carrot first. Down the carrot in your front and keeping the cane behind them. You understand? The carrot will excite you, but the cane will flog you where we're later. Front, no, front, you are not going backward again. She look at the line, you go back to where you're coming from again. You are now in the middle way. And then, for you, what's happening? They will just destroy your team, destroy you, and everything you've built will just come to an end. Don't you ever allow anybody to, to deceive you. Now, back to those that are new in this, in this platform, I will say you are welcome. Let me first welcome you to the platform. You're welcome to learn with opportunities where we all have equal opportunities, where we are, where, where we are excited to see you succeed, where the sky will be your stop, stopping stone, where we will work with you, you know, as a team, because your success is our success. So this is on this is the best place you can be. This is the only place you need to be to succeed. That is what and that is what I will tell you to do. Just come in, uh, come in on board and know that it is, it is network. So it's not going to be net play. Like I said earlier, I'm going to work to build your team and your, your team will give you the, the, the value, the income that you're looking for. So you're welcome to learn which opportunity, actually. Now, what do you want me to do again? What again? Is, is that all? No, I don't care. I don't care. Am I free for the blood of all me? Uh, thank you, Ma. That, that's it. It's just so that, um, they, they, you know, we will be able to tell them with the rest. So thank you so much for your answers. Thank you very much. So let's go to Moses. Moses, you're welcome. What can, what, what can I do for you? All right. Moses, can we have you? You can meet yourself. Uh, yes, uh, I'm grateful. My question is very simple. Uh, and I'm grateful. I just, uh, my VIP, I think, is on this call. I just share your video with her before I came on board and I have used your videos uh, so much to bring people into my team. My business name is Long Reach Chief. So I want you also to know as number one person. Uh, my question is very simple. Uh, when you started the business, I know you were having team members that were not working. What did you do with them? Thank you. I, I encourage them, but you know what? I don't force them. I do my training every now and then. Like now, there's training going on in the office every Thursday. Did you go to that training? We can only encourage you. We cannot fall. We cannot carry you from your house. Come and bring you to the training room. It's not possible. So I only give a name the environment. I encourage them. I give them a call. At the same time, I keep on building. So today, I'm still recruiting. Every day, I keep on recruiting. You know, you, you understand. So I encourage you that you're not working to work, but you know what? I keep on recruiting myself. And when you now have a big team, will you be a diamond three in my team, for example, and, and, and they're not working? I go down to your team. Who under you is the diamond that is a bit that is active? I start working with that diamond. If that diamond start working, you you will wake up. When you start seeing PV on another one leg, I mean I'm very wicked. I will not go to your biggest leg. <laughs> Are they harsh? Are they? Are they very, very harsh? I will go to your biggest leg. Go and look for leg under your biggest leg. Start working with that person under your biggest leg. So you are still not earning. <laughs> so you will still not earn, but you will see PV. So you go to invest, go work. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I will not give you free, free money. Mm -mm, but man has not falling from heaven. You want to hang, you got to go and work. So I go to your team, go to your big leg, work with them under your big leg. We are seeing PV, but you're not seeing bonus. But you're highly clear. But that's what I do. <laughs> Let's give Ikechuku a chance too. Ikechuku, don't bother. You have my son's name, so I will give you a chance. Ike, yeah, please, unmute um, Ike for me because last one. All right, you can go ahead. IK is full of smiles, so we cannot miss that smile. Your smile has given you the chance. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. So, my question is if someone has been in this space, in this business for some time, and he's stagnant, not that he's not doing his, he's not 
doing his business, but he is just stagnant, he's not growing. What can you uh, share with us that we keep the person moving and possibly start to make some changes? Okay, it's a, a, a stagnant downline. What can you do to stagnant downline? I guess that's, that's, that's a question, right? Okay, yes. first thing, yes. how, do you, how do you build a formidable team? No way. There's no way. There's no secret to building a formidable team. Just let me just tell, tell, tell you the whole truth, right? Your team starts from you. Are you formidable yourself? This, the secret to building a formidable team is, you, is in you. You. Are you the type that die off, that wither off under a, 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 a prayer? Your team is purely your own reflection. If you are full of negative energy, your team will be full of the same energy. If you are full of positive energy, your team will be full of the same energy. So it is you. Your team is your reflection. When you look at, at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? A positive person or, or a negative person, your team buys that from you. When your team sees that something is there that's keeping going, then they will not leave you. They will also be going with you. But when, when you do all this and they're not working, then what do you do? Language is beautiful. Language has opportunity of replacement. When you say the placement means replacement, you understand? You can only force a horse to the river. You cannot force the donkey to drink the water, you know? So if I've putting everything I have in you and you're not really going to move yeah, you decide to be stagnant, you decide to be negative, you decide to leave the business. <sighs> Seriously? Bye-bye. You understand? I will not tell you to keep on begging because how much can, can you beg? We were not in the business of begging. We are in the business of empowering. We are in the business of of encouraging, when the business of teaching people, passing knowledge, passing opportunities to people, right? So if I've encouraged, I've done all I could, and you're not working, I call my upline, we've done a lot of seminars, you're not coming for seminars, you're not coming for any hey, We'll get people now, we'll put somebody under you. You will go to that person's biggest leg. If the person is in diamond one and he has, Seven hundred and two, maybe one thousand PV. And one leg has seven hundred PV. Second leg has two hundred PV. Go to one that has seven hundred PV. Please, somebody that has seven hundred PV. <laughs> yes, now you understand. Go to the biggest leg of that person. Please put this somebody else to the place in on on that leg. Oh, I've replaced a lot of people in my team severally. Yes, I'm sure you might not have done this. Oh, everybody does it every day. You will go, you are not going to keep quiet. You are building your team every day. People ask me, what are you still doing? What are you looking for? Why are you still recruiting every day? Hello, what will I be doing if I'm not recruiting? It's no more business for me. It's passion for me. I enjoy doing it. You understand? I don't see it as work. I see it as passion. And you know what you love to do? You know, you just cannot stop doing it. That's it for me. So I just cannot stop talking about this opportunity. Every day I see my son, oh my God, I'm happy. Every day I want to help other families to have their own children. You understand? Every day I remember where I came from and where I am today. I thank God. Every day I'm thinking about which life again do I need to empower? You know, who do I need to talk to again as well to, be, you know, to, to turn their life around as well? That's the way it is for me. That is the way it's supposed to be for you as well. In that way, your team will be formidable. Your team that is stagnant will wake up. And if they refuse to wake up, you'll be placed. Thank you so much, Mama Mati. Thank you so much. We know we can't have enough of you. And uh, as you have opened the door to us, we know that, you know, uh, the Yoruba used to say something that, a child that stretches his hand is the one the mother carries. Thank God, uh, 3SD Ima has been stretching his hand and you've been carrying all of us. Why you have not broken down self, we are just wondering because carrying a lot of over 2 million Nigerians on your back, you're a strong woman. Thank you so much. Thank Passion you is so very much. powerful. 
passion is more powerful than energy and strength. Wow. Thank you so much, man. So before I play the song for you to dance for everybody, we'll dance along with you. Oh, and, sure. uh, let me ask for <laughs> let me ask Madam Oluwa <laughs> Yomi to give us give her last shot. Thank you so much, Mamati. Thank you so much for being real, being vulnerable, being allowing us into your space to learn from you, to glean, to know how you think and how you have succeeded. We truly do appreciate it. And like Simply Seton said, we all live at twist. We will come again. Thank you because the door will stay open for us. Thank you so much. God bless you. Wow. Thank you so much. Let's make Mama T uh, <laughs> dance. We're already dancing just with that. few minutes. Well, yeah, we'll be dancing with her just in a bit. <laughs> When I did cry, my mother got She goes, yeah, my baby, where did you did cry? Oh, 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 Thank you so much, Mamati. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We don't take your coming for granted entirely. Thank you so much. And on that note, we say good night and see you again on uh, next week Sunday. It's going to be a bumper package. Bumper package. A series of top leaders have been lined up to come and they are eager to actually pass knowledge to us. Thank you so much and see you again next week. Thank <laughs> you.